Greetings, this is Dr. Sandra Cabot. Welcome to my video on Sjogren Syndrome. Sjogren Syndrome is not a rare disorder, with an incidence of one half to one percent of the population. It is approximately half as common as rheumatoid arthritis. Sjogren Syndrome was named after Dr. Henrik Sjogren, who was a Swedish eye specialist and first described it. Sjogren syndrome is an autoimmune disorder which causes the immune system to attack the salivary glands, the eye's tear glands, known as lacrimal glands, and the mucous membranes. Mucous membranes line the mouth, the nose, and sinuses, the intestines, the bladder, the vagina, and the eyes. The glands become damaged and are not able to produce enough saliva, tears, nasal secretions and intestinal secretions. The mucous membranes become dry and damaged and are not able to make enough protective mucus or secretions. The outstanding problem is dryness of the eyes, mouth, nose and skin. The eyes can feel dry gritty and irritated. The skin may be dry and itchy. The vagina may become very dry, causing sexual dysfunction. It may be hard to chew and swallow, and the sense of taste may be diminished, so food is not enjoyed as much. There is excessive inflammation in the body, and other organs may be affected by Sjogren syndrome, including the muscles, lungs and pancreas. Painful muscles and a cough may develop. If the pancreas gland is affected, there can be a deficiency of digestive enzymes produced by the pancreas. This can lead to poor digestion and nutritional deficiencies. The pancreas is an exocrine gland with a similar structure and function to the salivary glands, so it is not surprising that the pancreas can be attacked in Sjogren's patients. Patients with Sjogren syndrome have an increased risk of acute pancreatitis and autoimmune chronic pancreatitis. The disease can also attack the bile ducts causing inflamed bile ducts, known as cholangitis. Wow, you're probably thinking Sjogren syndrome is a very unpleasant disease and you don't want to have it. But thankfully, there is much that can be done to relieve the symptoms and reduce the inflammation. The earlier Sjogren syndrome is treated, the easier it is to repair the damage. Diagnosis may be delayed, with health professionals thinking the patient just has dry eyes and mouth and not recognizing the cause or severity of the problem. It is often first diagnosed by an optometrist or a dentist. Sjogren syndrome is associated with a higher incidence of other autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, thyroid disorders, scleroderma and lupus. Tests for Sjogren syndrome. There is no single test that will confirm the diagnosis of Sjogren syndrome and doctors must use several tests and take a thorough medical history about all the symptoms the patient is experiencing. Blood tests for marker antibodies called SSA and SSB can be done. 70% of Sjogren's patients are positive for SSA and 40% are positive for SSB. These antibodies are also found in most lupus patients. Salivary flow test, which measures the amount of saliva produced over 15 minutes. A volume of less than 1.5 mils of saliva in 15 minutes is considered abnormal. Schirmer's test, an eye doctor measures the amount of tears your lacrimal glands produce. Rose Bengal and Lysamine Green Test administers dyes to the eyes 
to examine the surface of the eyes for dry spots. Salivary gland biopsy, usually done in the inner lower lip. The biopsy involves the removal of a small amount of tissue containing tiny salivary glands that is examined under a microscope. This shows lymphocytic infiltration of the minor salivary glands. Lymphocytes are a type of white blood cell that attacks the glands. Let's look at the treatment of Sjogren's syndrome. It is important to see an eye specialist, ophthalmologist and a dentist regularly to ensure the best care for your eyes and to prevent dental caries that is caused by lack of saliva. Conventional treatments focus on treating the symptoms of Sjogren's and include artificial tears to put in the eyes, immunosuppressant teardrops containing the drug cyclosporin, immunosuppressant drugs such as hydroxychloroquine which are taken orally, medications such as pilocarpine to increase the production of saliva. Large contact lenses called a scleral lens prosthesis to protect the eyes from drying out visit www.scleralens.com for excellent information on these lenses and serum tears. Serum tears for the eyes can be made from the patient's blood and can be very effective. Sugar-free gum containing xylitol can be chewed to relieve mouth dryness. These treatments may greatly improve the quality of life. Now let's look at nutritional medicine which focuses on treating the cause of the disease and includes diet. What you eat has a huge effect on your immune system and the amount of inflammation in your body. I recommend what is called an autoimmune diet and this is discussed in my book titled healing autoimmune disease. To start with, exclude all grains, wheat, rye, barley, oats, rice and corn, and processed foods from your diet. Most people with Sjogren syndrome are intolerant to gluten, and this is so even if they are not a celiac sufferer. Gluten should be avoided and is found in many grains and processed foods and sources. A diet that contains plenty of healthy fats is important as good fats moisturize the gut and mucous membranes. Good fats are found in grass-fed meat, poultry, seafood, especially oily fish such as sardines, eggs, butter, olive oil, coconut oil and cream, avocado and nuts. Beneficial foods for Sjogren syndrome include sauerkraut and broccoli sprouts as these help the gut microbiome and the liver. Let's look at supplements for Sjogren syndrome. If you have pancreatic insufficiency, you will need digestive enzymes in the middle of your meals or you will not absorb fat and protein and will become malnourished. Make sure that you are producing enough bile as bile is needed to absorb dietary fats and fat soluble vitamins. Deficiency of healthy fats and fat soluble vitamins will make Sjogren syndrome much worse. If you are bile deficient you will be intolerant to dietary fat and you will have pale feces or stools. If you have bile insufficiency I recommend you take oxbile capsules, one capsule in the middle of meals that contain fat. I have done several videos on help for gallbladder problems on liverdoctor.com. Let's look at fat soluble vitamins. Can they help? Yes, fat soluble vitamins can reduce dryness of all the mucous membranes. They can also reduce inflammation 
and repair damaged mucous membranes. I recommend you take the following fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin A, retinol, 5,000 international units daily with food. Super vitamin K in a dose of one to two capsules daily with food. These capsules also contain a good dose of vitamin D as well as three types of vitamin K. Vitamin D to keep your blood levels of vitamin D in the upper limit of the normal range. Vitamin E, 500 international units daily and eat avocado as it's high in vitamin E. Cod liver oil and lamb's fry which is lamb's liver, are also excellent sources of these fat-soluble vitamins. A fish oil supplement is most worthwhile to boost omega-3 fatty acids, which are anti-inflammatory for the whole body and reduce dryness. Take it with meals. Selenimune is an excellent supplement for autoimmune conditions and balances the immune system. It can reduce the levels of the antibodies that attack the glands and mucous membranes. It can also help to fight viruses and some researchers think that hidden chronic viral infections, especially with the glandular fever virus, can trigger Sjogren's syndrome. Selenimune contains three types of organic selenium, along with iodine, zinc, activated vitamin B12 and other immune nutrients. The dose of selenimune is one capsule daily. N-acetylcysteine, abbreviated to NAC, increases the production of glutathione by the liver. Glutathione is the most powerful antioxidant produced by the body to reduce inflammation and repair damaged tissues. NAC or NAC is helpful for the eyes and gums and reduces dental plaque. The dose of NAC is one to two capsules twice daily in between meals with a whole large glass of water. These supplements may take four to six months to exert their full benefit and need to be taken regularly. Improvement occurs gradually as it takes longer to treat the cause of disease than it does to just treat the symptoms. Oil pulling, what is that? This is an old traditional habit in Asia used to cleanse, detoxify and moisturize the mouth and works quite well. Coconut oil has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial effects and can be used daily. Place one tablespoon of coconut oil in your mouth and hold it in your mouth for 15 to 20 minutes. Then spit the oil out in the bin. This is good to do before retiring at night, but some people do it more frequently with good effect. Castor oil. This is an excellent oil to rub into your eyes before sleep and can be used more frequently. Castor oil reduces eye discomfort, prevents the eyes from drying out as much. Try to purchase organic castor oil. It is soothing and moisturizing to the eyes and is non-irritating. What about hormone therapy? Well, it's very interesting that Sjogren syndrome is nine times more common in women than men and often gets much worse when a woman becomes menopausal and postmenopausal. This is a big clue that the sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone and testosterone, play a role in this disease. Researchers have shown that male hormones, called androgens, play an important role in regulating the function of both the salivary lacrimal and eye myobian glands. These researchers proved that artificial tears with added testosterone were effective in relieving dry eyes. 
They also trialled a transdermal cream with 3% testosterone which greatly improved dry eyes. Postmenopausal females perceived the greatest relief of symptoms from this treatment, while males had the least benefit. It is worth having a blood test to check your levels of testosterone, both total and free amounts. And if your levels are very low, you can also use testosterone troches or capsules, or apply a testosterone cream to your vulva or armpits. This will raise blood testosterone levels and may reduce dryness of the eyes and mouth substantially. If you suffer with vaginal dryness and discomfort, a cream containing a combination of bioidentical natural estrogen, progesterone and testosterone can be inserted into the vagina or applied to the vulva. Such a cream may help the dryness of the eyes and mouth as well as the vaginal dryness. A doctor's prescription is required. Chagrin syndrome is a very distressing autoimmune disease, but the use of holistic medicine enables patients to control the symptoms and treat the cause, often with excellent results. If you would like to need, if you would like got a bit tongue-tied this. <laughs> um, if you would like to see the references for this video, you can request a copy of the references. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful for this very distressing condition of Sjogren's. I have had many patients with Sjogren's and been able to help them over the years. If you like this video, please click subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, send us an email from liverdoctor.com and thanks for listening.